this could remove India from its currency monitoring list of major trading partners, the Treasury Department has said, citing certain developments and steps being taken by New Delhi which address some of its major concerns. India for the first time was placed by the US in its currency monitoring list of countries with potentially questionable foreign exchange policies in April along with five other countries – China, Germany, Japan, South Korea and Switzerland. The Department of Treasury maintained the same monitoring list in its latest report released on Wednesday but said if India continues with the same practices as in the last six months, it would be removed from its next biannual report. Four major US public funds that hold shares in Facebook Inc. on Wednesday proposed removing Chief Executive Officer Mark Zuckerberg as chairman following several high-profile scandals and said they hope to gain backing from larger asset managers. They oversee money including pension funds and joined activist and original filer Trillium Asset Management. A similar shareholder proposal seeking an independent chair was defeated in 2017 at Facebook, where Zuckerberg's majority control makes outsider resolutions effectively symbolic. The Enforcement Directorate on Wednesday seized assets worth over Rs 218 crore in the nearly Rs 13,000 crore PNB loan fraud case probe. They said three provisional orders under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act were issued by the Central Investigative Agency's Zonal Office in Mumbai for attachment of the properties in India and abroad. The beneficiaries of these assets put under attachment, they said, are absconding diamond jeweller Mehul Choksi, Mihir Bhansali, a close aide and US-based executive of main accused in the case, Nirav Modi, and a company named AP Gems and Jewelry Park. The total value of the attached and seized assets is Rs 218.46 crore. Reliance Industries on Wednesday posted its highest ever net profit at Rs 9,516 crore in quarter 2 financial year 19, up 17.35%. Mukesh Ambani-led oil to telecom conglomerate posted a 54.5% rise in revenues to Rs 1,56,291 crore in the July-September quarter. Reliance Industries Telecom Arm Reliance Geo reported standalone revenues of Rs 10,942 crore. The second quarter results for Infosys were expected to be good and the company doesn't seem to have disappointed the analysts. Though there were many positive surprises in the results, there were some negative surprises too. But all in all, in comparison to the numbers over the past eight quarters or so, the results posted in quarter two are being seen as its best performance. Facebook Inc. has tentatively concluded that spammers looking to make money and not a nation state were behind the largest ever data theft at the social media company, the Wall Street Journal reported on Wednesday. The people behind the attack were a group of Facebook and Instagram spammers that present themselves as a digital marketing company and whose activities were previously known to Facebook's security team, the journal reported. Last week, Facebook said that cyber attackers had stolen data from 29 million Facebook accounts using an automated program that moved from one friend to the next.